My name is Marie Eisbrenner, and I was in my early 20s. I had just finished college. I was a single mom, and I was getting ready to start a new career, and I wasn't really walking closely with the Lord. I discovered I was pregnant, and I felt like I was in an impossible situation, having just started my new career, and the full-time position that was opening up would be in jeopardy. I was confused, and I just didn't know what I was going to do. So I made an appointment at the clinic to talk about my options. And I was told that it was very early on, so I was just carrying a small clump of cells. And it would be quick, painless, and I could get back to living a normal life in just a few hours. She was right about one thing, it went very quickly. But there was no such thing as a normal life after what I did. There were only two people who knew, and I was going to keep it that way the rest of my life. I wouldn't allow myself to think about it, and any time the thought came to mind, I would just shove it aside and do something to distract myself. I essentially had hardened my heart to the memory of what I did. The shame and guilt of it was, was horrible, but what was almost even worse was the fact that I had kept this from all the people who were close to me and the people that I loved. And it went on that way for decades. But a little over a year ago, the Lord in his kind and gentle way, he just started nudging me and telling me that it was time for me to deal with the trauma of what I'd done. And so as I began to work through the emotions and allow myself to actually feel, feel the emotions associated with it, the Lord just started to burden my heart for other women like me who had walked the same journey. Then in his perfect timing, he placed a young woman across my path who bravely told me about her own similar journey the first time I met her, and I knew why God led me to her. So after that, I told three of my close friends and I asked them to pray as I began to share with my family. And I knew that the God wanted me to do more with this. So I met with David and Crystal and I shared my story of what the Lord was placing on my heart. The Lord was giving me dreams of women in our congregation standing up and they were just carrying this heavy burden on their backs. And I shared with them that women can't be healed from these things that the church isn't willing to talk about. So we agreed that we would pray together about it and we would ask God how he wanted to use this in our church. So that's what we've been doing since last year. During that time, I purchased several different Bible studies to review the material and I went through a study called Surrendering the Secret, and the Lord just depressed upon my heart that this was the one. And because this is so deeply personal, I really wrestled with God about going public with my personal testimony. But I soon began to realize this isn't just about me. It's about restoration of souls, a whole generation of women. And I needed to consider the redemption that could come out of this entire situation. God's always proven himself faithful to me in the past, so I'm trusting him and how he is going to use this and turn it for good. So the Lord began to give me more dreams about the location and what it would all look like. So I shared that with Crystal and David and doors just started opening very quickly to make this, this study happen this fall. So in the Surrendering the Secret study, I will walk along my sisters in Christ who've been carrying the burden of this painful decision for far too long. God wants them to know that he doesn't see them through their sin. He looks at them and he calls them his daughters. He, and he wants his daughters healed and delivered so that they can walk in the fullness of the life that he has always intended for them to have. So we're making it very easy for women to participate discreetly. There's confidential registration, so the only person who will get your registration information is me. The location is going to be within the Benton Harbor and St. Joe area, but it will only be disclosed upon completion of the registration process for privacy purposes. Books will be available, available for you to purchase the first night of the class from me, so you don't have to go to a public pay, place to purchase it. Classes are going to be on Monday evenings at 6.30 p.m. for eight weeks. I believe that God's going to move in a powerful way through the Surrendering the Secret study and that women are going to find a level of freedom that they would never thought they would experience. So I ask all the congregations at all four campuses to join me in praying for God to move in the hearts of those who he wants to attend and for the word to get out to our surrounding community so that God can do what only he can.